Hey guys, it's Neil Waterhouse. Now this is an, an add-on video to the, the video I recorded last week showing some tips on TerraPeak of how uh, to get around the 2.0 release of TerraPeak where they no longer show the competitor research. I'll put a link uh, on the screen just to show you can, where you can go back to that. Uh, this is a couple of add-ons to that which, which might help as well uh, for people who have Im import businesses and uh, eBay dropship businesses. Now, the first one is just going back on, now, oh, as you can see on here, now there's uh, product research, which is the previous version of, of TerraPeak, if you like, uh, except for excluding the competitor research, and then there's the new product research 2.0. Now, clicking on to the old version, just the product research, if we do a search for, say, I don't know, let's say solar panel. Oops, solar. And hit search. From this view, we see our, our normal view, which shows in this case $2.9 million of solar panels sold. Now, of course, previously we could click on the top sellers who sell the items and it would show us, of course, uh, how much they all turned over and their names, but of course it doesn't show them their names anymore, which is what this previous video was all about. Now here we can see, of course, the, the sales, but the, of course the missing column is over here, which used to show the names of the seller, the seller that did this 389,000 and the second one, etc. Uh, something else to help piece the puzzle, because we can still get all this information. We just have to do a few more clicks to get it. Now, and something I didn't show last week was if you click on here, the listings for the items that you re are researching, it will show you the titles and there you can start piecing together exactly which seller was which. And of course, if you add more keywords, up into the search panel, you can narrow it down a lot more. Uh, and you can scroll through, scroll down through here and you can see all the, the sales and, and of course you can see um, all their titles, which of course makes it a lot easier to find them. Now, something I want to show you as well in 2.0, if we go up here to 2.0, if we do say the same search for say, you know, the same keywords, say solar panel, uh, it will start to it's got a more of a, a, a smart search engine now. So it's like eBay and like Google, it has the auto suggestion. So it starts showing you all these other keywords down here, which is actually very useful. But let's just for now, just do this search of solar panel. And it's showing us here all the, the sales. Now, like a, a really handy feature here is down on the right here, there's this little grayed out button that says group by listings. And if we slide it over, it will now group the same listings for each um, particular uh, frequency. So at the moment we've got, I've got selected um, these dates, January 14 to January 20. So it shows us all the items that were sold of that same title. So in this case, you can see the 69 of this particular item was sold and 69 of those, 55 of those, etc. And you can sort, sort by total sales items sold or whatever you like. So instead of having to go through all the results and you know adding them all up and basically telling them all up, uh, this group by listings is a quite a useful feature. So uh, go and check it out. So that's all for this week. No matter where you're watching this, scroll on down, leave a comment for me. If this video was helpful, give me a share. Until next week, this more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.